Hi, Panda friends. We've been home from school for four weeks now, and I know that some days are super exciting. You have lots of fun with your family. Some days are a little harder. Just like in school, sometimes it was hard to get along with friends, to play and to share, sometimes even to learn at circle time. Some days it's probably hard to learn at home from mommy and daddy, or even play along with brother and sister. So I got to thinking, and I wondered if there was an animal that came out of a shell that shows us what it's like to be hardworking and to get through our troubles. And then what did God say about that? So I looked in a couple of my books and I found a story I'd like to share with you. This is called The Hard Working Turtles. Once a baby sea turtle hatches from its egg, it has to start on a long journey home. Mother sea turtles lay their eggs in the sand at the beach. When the eggs hatch, baby turtles pop out of the sand and inch their way back to the ocean. The trip to the sea is very hard since sea turtles don't have legs or feet. They only have little fins. For a brand new baby turtle marching across the sand on little fins, the smallest pile of sand seems like a giant mountain. And imagine what a crashing wave looks like to a newborn turtle, the size of a person's thumb. Can you hold up your thumb? That's how big a baby turtle is. Once a new turtle makes it into the ocean, it has to swim for days to find a peaceful patch of kelp where it can rest and grow strong. And that's if it doesn't get eaten along the way. Sometimes when baby turtles are up near the surface of the water, a bird might see it, might come down and think that it's food. Sometimes other fish might eat it. God knows being a baby turtle is hard. If a turtle works hard and doesn't give up, it can grow up to live in a peaceful cove, snacking on seaweed and jellyfish. God knows that being a person can be hard too. But we have to keep working hard and have faith that God wants us to succeed. God will never give up on us and doesn't want us to give up on, or to give up either, sorry. So there's a couple questions that go along with this story, friends. You can answer, how many sea turtles are running to the sea? Do you think you see them all? Can you help me count? I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten on this page. If you were actually out on the beach when sea turtles are hatching from their eggs, you might see 50 to 100 sea turtles trying to make their way to the sea. Why is it so hard for baby turtles to make it to the ocean? Do you remember from the story? Why is it so hard? Sometimes the sand is not very flat, is it? Sometimes the sand goes up like a mountain and the sea turtle would have to crawl up over it. And sometimes when they make it to the water's edge, they have crashing waves that come down. In the classroom or at home, have you ever felt like giving up on something? Putting it away because maybe it's not working out the way that you thought it would. Maybe you don't have all the materials you needed. Maybe something got spilt on it. Things happen for different reasons. It's always best to come back and try again. Why does God want us to work our hardest? Well, God says in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8, We are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed and broken. We are perplexed, but we don't give up and quit. God wants us to keep trying because he knows our talents, and he knows what you're capable of. That's a big word, capable, huh? He knows what you're able to do. Sometimes it's difficult. We can stop what we're doing, walk away, calm our bodies, maybe take a deep breath and count to five. 
and come back and try again. Try that this week, friends. Be a hardworking turtle. See what you can get done. See you soon.